Hello, my name is Adam and I'm part of Google team in Globima, a Google Cloud Premier Partner. Welcome, this is another video from our Google Maps platform tutorial series. In this video, we are going to briefly describe what is a store locator, where and why it is good to use it, which Google API services are necessary for creating interactive store locator. We are also going to share a few useful tips for having the best store locator which suits to your business. The way you present yourself in a digital environment is very important. One of the most common features of a website is displaying a Google map that highlights one or more locations for business, institution or any kind of entity. Learn how to create an interactive map for your website that shows your customers the location of all your stores. In the previous videos, we introduced the Google Maps platform core products that can be used as building blocks to create location-aware experiences. Maps, roads and places. Let's increase customer satisfaction with innovative services and use API services from all three categories to create the best store locator. Everything starts with a simple Google Map and a default red marker. There are plenty of these simple store locators all around on the internet. This is a default setup while using the Maps JavaScript API. If you want to differentiate and engage your customers, you should invest a little bit of your time and create something more interesting. First, you can customize your map. Express your creativity and create maps with the unique design that reflect your visual identity. Get off the line and present yourself with an original map. It is super easy. You can set the colors of the layers and you can also set how many labels, landmarks or roads are displayed. You can use styling to prevent business seats, points of interest and other features from appearing on the map. Also, you need to be careful about contrast of the map so that it is still viewable once you customize it. When you style your map, don't forget to style your marker as well. You can customize a marker image, use marker label, simple and complex icons and symbols. Maps JavaScript API supports the display of vector path. Thanks to that, you can add your own markers or company logo as an SVG format. Additionally, you can animate the markers and let them jump into your map. In case you have plenty of stores in one store locator, do not forget to use marker clustering. Your map will be easier to read for your customers. Would you like to provide users with an engaging experience to find the nearest store? Access travel distance and time for a matrix of origins and destinations with the Distance Metrics API service. The closest place by air distance is not always the closest place with driving mode. Plus, you can choose if you need real-time traffic information or if just time calculated based on the travel distance is okay for you. When a customer chooses one of your store, you can easily provide directions for transit, biking, driving or walking between customer's location and the store. Use Directions API service and give your customer possibility to calculate the roads and plan the best time to leave to avoid traffic jams. Let's also use the real-time traffic information. Before you can find the nearest store and calculate the distance, you need to know your customer's location. The best way is to use Google Autocomplete Search from Places API and Geocoding API. Autocomplete Search returns a list of addresses based on a user's location or search string and it helps to reduce keystrokes. Last but not least, pop-up windows with useful information. How often do you try to click on the markers in the store locators and nothing happens? Pop-up windows are a great place to store additional information about the selected store. You can insert a link to Street View or even insert the Street View imagery to get an idea where the store is. With Places API, you can provide up-to-date reviews, photos and opening hours. And there is always place for your logo and a link to provide navigation. If you create an amazing interactive store locator, be sure it is visible for your customers and they can easily find it. Although maps are very often hidden at the contact page, Store locator should be on the main page or on the separate app. Let's make shopping an unforgettable experience and make sure the customers feel satisfied after their visit on your website. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Google Maps platform video tutorial series and I believe you gained some interesting information.
I'm looking forward to speak to you in next video. In case of any questions, you can comment under video or leave us a message through our website. If you like this video, click on the like button and subscribe button to stay connected with the next topics and Globima. Thank you and have a nice day.